1950, U.S. Navy pilot Thomas Hudner was flying over North Korea when fellow airman Jesse Brown, the U.S. Navy's first ever black pilot, was hit and crashed. Hudner crash-landed his own plane in an attempt to save his friend Brown, but failed to get him out of the wreckage and was eventually evacuated by helicopter from hostile territory, but had to leave Brown behind. The incident took place in Jiangjing County, the scene of a brutal 17-day war between the U.S. and China, which left 6,000 Americans dead. The Chinese offensive eventually pushed the U.S. and its allies back to a stalemate around the 38th parallel, where the war ended with an armistice in 1953. But with the remains of almost 8,000 Americans still missing, there is unfinished business. Veteran Hudner, now 88 years old, has returned to the secretive Marxist state to try to uncover some of the history surrounding the event and locate his dead friend. It feels good. I think things are going very positive. And to find an aircraft that I left out here 63 years ago is quite a thrill. Hudner said they were also hoping to locate two aeroplanes with the help of maps and coordinates. Well, we have great hopes that we can find the airplane. Two, two airplanes which are together, but that remains to be seen how, how the weather is going to be and the, the condition of the area around where we went down. Although North Korean officials have yet to confirm the remit the veteran and his team will have, local residents who remember the 1950 battle offered conciliatory messages. And now, when a plane flies over, students, children, grandchildren, they all come out and look at the plane. They wave happily. But for me, it reminds me of the disasters that were inflicted on us. I still have the same feeling as when the planes came, bringing a lot of death. And I feel in my heart that there should never, ever again be any war in the whole wide world, ever. As the 60th anniversary of the armistice nears, South and North Korea still remain technically at war.